AI is revolutionary. It seems almost overnight it changed the world as we knew it. Impacting jobs by having people replaced by it and creating new ones like AI prompt engineering. But as it continues to develop, it's sinking its teeth into more and more industries. And right now, gaming is its focus. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm on a mission to get this little menace named Maple a big backyard, so subscribe. On November 30th, 2022, a program called ChatGBT launched. It was the fastest growing consumer web app of all time. Some people even said it was a big step forward for mankind, even going as far as comparing it to the moon landing. But as with anything new, as caused concern in multiple industries, including government, Hollywood, and now gaming. And before we dive in, I want to preface, I'm not an AI doomer. There's a lot of practicality to it, and I believe it's an even better Google search, but it does cause concern specifically for competitive gaming. Last month at CES, MSI, a well-known gaming components company, unveiled their new MEG 321 URX QD OLED with built-in AI. That's a damn mouthful. They showed a game of League of Legends being played and the monitor was able to give extra information to the player in real time just because they have AI built into the monitor. Again, that's into the monitor itself, not the graphics card, CPU, or some other component of the PC, but the monitor itself. Here's a clip from Linus Tech Tips. One AI-enabled product that has sparked debate, even controversy in the gaming community, is MSI's AI-enabled monitor, which, as you can see, is popping up indicators completely independent of your operating system or your game files whenever there is an enemy hero coming into the frame in League of Legends. Now, MSI makes the argument that this isn't cheating because all it's doing is watching the minimap for you, so in theory, it's not doing anything a skilled player couldn't already do on their own, but by that logic, why not highlight your opponents in CS2 or draw an AI-generated racing line in Mario Kart? Of course, all of these things exist already. The difference is that it's being handled by a neural processor inside the monitor, making it impossible for the game developer to detect. Now, from my tone, you can probably tell how I feel about AI assistants that unlevel the playing field, but I also see the argument from the other side. Is it really any different from having a higher quality mouse or a better internet connection? Whichever side you're on, it's clear that League of Legends opponent detection is just the tip of the iceberg here with MSI claiming that users will be able to train an AI model on different games or in the future, even on the audio that streams through the monitor to unlock new gaming advantages. So ready or not, here it comes. This is, to put it frankly, alarming. AI is on the rise and it's going to open up opportunities for people while also taking some away. It's a great advancement, but we might be too gung-ho about it. MSI even said in this article from PC World, they plan to have integrations for other games like Counter-Strike 2. And based on what I showed you earlier in this video, this could be damning for Counter-Strike. CS2 already has a massive cheater issue that Valve is hopefully working on something to fix or combat, but this monitor will introduce an entire new line of problems. Here's a good example from Level Cap's video and also draw outlines of players behind walls, giving you audio-based wall hacks. That's all completely possible with this sort of technology. Imagine you're playing a game like Rainbow Six Siege, Counter-Strike 2, Valorant, League of Legends, Apex Legends, Overwatch 2, and you can train the AI in your monitor to give you walls based on sound or whatever else. It's AI, and it's only limited by creative human input. And what I mean by that is if you go to ChatGPT and put in a prompt, it'll give you information. But if you put in a prompt that looks like an essay, it'll pump out more specific and curated information that'll help you more. It's like that saying, if you want better answers, ask better questions. And the better someone is with prompt engineering, the better their AI will be. And if this monitor goes mainstream, which it could since it's made by a well-known company, competitive gaming as a whole might not be played by quote unquote legitimate people anymore. Every game might turn into a TF2 and have a bot problem where every person is just playing as an AI generated bot that they've engineered to play for them. And the only thing that'll hold someone back from reaching the highest rank in a game is their lack of AI prompt engineering skills. So what can we do? Well, there's a few options, but each one will take effort from every competitive gamer out there. One option we have is to boycott them. This isn't a bad option since it'll send a direct message with us as the consumer voting with our wallets to MSI and other monitor manufacturers that we don't want this type of stuff enabled for competitive gaming. Two, we can call for government regulation. 
I'm not one for big government or for the government to interfere with companies, but when companies create something that has the potential to disrupt an entire market, they might have to do something. And three, we can beg for companies to block this monitor. Have companies that make competitive games like Valve, Riot, and Ubisoft find ways to work around spoofing measures, ban this monitor on their games, and continue to do so for other AI cheats. Which brings me to another thing. AI is getting better day by day, and so are cheaters. Cheaters will always have the upper hand in the cheats versus anti-cheat debate, since anti-cheat always has to be reactive and can't be proactive. And with AI on the rise and its sophistication rising rapidly, we're seeing more and more cheats that could truly put an end to competitive gaming. Aim Assist was bad enough, and now we got AI cheats that can be hosted on another computer and see your screen in real time and help you aim and everything else. For example, if you run a dual PC setup like streamers do, they could have the AI cheat on their streaming PC while it's helping them on their gaming PC. And you never know because cheats are so sophisticated now, it doesn't even look like they're cheating. Take a look at this clip from Unity Research in her video on cheats within Valorant, which is supposed to have one of the best anti-cheats in the industry. On my way. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, you can't even tell that she has an aimbot in this clip. And if you could, I'm surprised. I played thousands of hours of competitive shooters and I've never seen an aim cheat that's not blatant until now. I highly recommend you watch the full video. Link is in the description and subscribe to their channel. Here's another clip from a recent Sparkles video. Our aimbot is really humanized. You wouldn't notice if someone is using it, from my opinion. So yeah, master switch turns on all the aimbot features. Then you have only visible. So basically what this does if if the enemy is visible. So if I'm behind a wall, it won't lock onto the enemy. If I can see him, it locks. Aimbot key, aimbot mode, hitbox. So basically the hitbox is where the aimbot is gonna aim at. So head, neck, chest, where it pelvis. Locks onto, yeah. And then we have uh, body aim if lethal. So basically it will override what I choose as, as hitbox and body aim and go for a uh, chest. Mm -hmm. if, if the enemy is under 30. Is that to look less suspicious? Like if someone is cheating and just shoots everyone in the chest, yeah. I don't think someone would say anything. True. But if I'm cheating and I'm only going for head all the time, then... Yeah, it's a lot more obvious, yeah. Then we have dynamic FOV. Which FOV is field of view. How long I can be outside. I'll show you. Look, if I put my FOV to 5, I have here this round circle. And if I go here, it will lock on. But if I'm outside of this circle, if the enemy is outside of this circle... It has to circle, be within the target zone. Yeah. Uh, if the enemy is moving, the FOV will be higher. And if the enemy, as I said, is under 30 HP, it will also be higher. If I'm low, it will either go up and down. If he's done a lot of damage, the aimbot becomes uh, stronger. Mm -hmm. Then we have dyna dynamic smoothness, which is yeah same factors as the other one. If I have smoothness to 5, it's going to be a, not snappy, it's going to be really slow, so you wouldn't notice it. But if I put it to 0, it's going to instantly lock on. Okay. Then, yeah, so everyone who's legit cheating uses high smoothness to not get caught out. Cheating is an epidemic within competitive gaming, and the future of comp gaming is looking like it'll get darker before it gets better. AI is a massive concern, and we as consumers need to vote with our wallets to let big companies know, like MSI, we don't want AI in our games. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Again, I'm Alex, and if you enjoyed this video, subscribe, help Maple get a big backyard, and if you didn't enjoy the video, leave a dislike, leave a comment, let me know why. Have a good rest of your day. Peace. Can we please put on Inferno so that we can actually get a map faster? Please, thank you. Why are we not getting Mirage to pop at least, bro? Watch, we're going to put it on, and then it's going to be dust too. I wish. Best map in the game, hands down. <laughs> <laughs> I did no what I way. say. What I say, no bro. No way, bro.